welcome back. Hey guys, it's Rishi once again, and today we're going to be going through angles in polygons. So what are angles in polygons? Well, within this video here, you'll be learning about how to calculate specific angles, and what polygons are, and the different variety of methods in order to calculate both the interior and the exterior angles. So let's start with what angles in polygons are. Well, as I just mentioned, they relate to the interior and exterior angles of a regular or irregular polygon. So now let's go ahead and draw out a simple shape here. So that's our pentagon here. Now, interior angles are those that are inside of the shape. So you can see a pentagon has five interior angles and each interior angle is made with two sides. So as we can see, these are the two sides here. And we can also even calculate the sum of an interior angle of a polygon by simply subtracting two from the number of sides. So we can have n as the number of sides minus two and then multiplying it by 180 degrees. So let's say, for example, we have this specific shape here. So we will then have five minus two multiplied by 180, which is three times 180, which will then give you 540. And there we are. So now we know that the total of the interior angles is now 540 degrees. And again, if we want to work out the exterior angle here, that is the angle that is outside of the shape itself. So you can see these are the exterior angles that I'm writing out here. And one thing to note here now is that both the interior and exterior angle will add up to 180 degrees as it forms a straight line. So now let's go ahead and calculate an exterior angle. And now again, the sum of the exterior angles are always equal to 360. So if we wanted to calculate the exterior angle, we could say 360 degrees divided by the number of sides. So in this case, it's 360 divided by 5, which gives us 72 degrees. So now having said that, if our exterior angle is 72 degrees, then we know in order to calculate our interior angle, we would have 180 minus 72, which gives us 108 degrees. And that is now our angle there. And again, a way to check that would be to simply get our total figure, which was 540 degrees, and divide it by the number of sides. So remember, this was the total of the interior angles. But we want only one angle. So we'll then have 540 divided by 5, which gives you 108 degrees. And there we are, it's now proven our point that one interior angle is 108 degrees. Okay, and I hope that was a clear insight into what angles in polygons are and how to calculate your interior and exterior angles. Remember now, in this video, we will learn about angles in polygons. And the questions that we have here are based on both the LXL, AQA and OCR exam giving you further guidance on where to go next if you are stuck on any of these questions. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's get started. So let's go for question number one. So now in this particular question, it's asking us to work at the size of a interior angle of a regular hexagon. So the first thing we know is that a hexagon has got six sides. The next thing we know is in order to work at the exterior angle, we need to have 360 degrees divided by the number of sides. So what are we going to do? We're going to have 360 divided by 6, which gives us 60. So now we know that one exterior angle is 60 degrees. Okay, let's go for question two. Now we want to work out the interior angle. So as I've told you before, there's two methods that we're going to follow here today. The first is to get the number of sides, minus it by 2, and then times it by 180 degrees. Or we could simply work out the exterior angle and then the interior, where we will have 360 divided by the number of sides. So let's take a look at method one then, what I've written out here. So let's have the number of sides, which is eight because it's an octagon. 
So we'll have 8 minus 2 times 180 degrees. So again, we'll have 6 times 180, and that'd be 1080 degrees. And then we can go ahead and divide 1080 by 8, which will give us one angle here, and that is 135 degrees. So now we know that one interior angle is 135 degrees. Or let's go for method two, which you may find simpler. We'll get the exterior angle. So we'll do 360 divided by eight, which gives us 45 degrees. And we'll then do 180 minus 45, which will then be 135 degrees, which is again, like I said, much simpler, but you now have two methods on how to calculate an interior angle. I must say method one has an additional step as we calculate the total value of the interior angles within the shape before then dividing it by the total number of sides in order to get the value of one angle. But what we've done, we've gone ahead, we've calculated the interior. So now we know that's 135 degrees, which is an obtuse angle, whilst the exterior is an acute angle and that's 45 degrees. Okay, let's move over to question number three here. So now we need to work out the interior angle of a pentagon. So within this particular question here, let's go for 360 divided by five, as that's the number of sides of a pentagon, and that gives you 72. And then we'll have 180, take away 72, which is 108 degrees. And that is our answer. So step one, you work out one angle of the exterior, which is again here, 72 degrees, before subtracting it from 180, because it is a straight line, and then you'll get your 108 degrees, which is the interior angle. Okay, question number four. The size of each exterior angle in a regular polygon is 20 degrees. Work out the number of sides the polygon has. So what they've told us here is that we've got our regular polygon, and the exterior angle is now 20 degrees. And we need to work out the number of sides that it has. So what are we going to do? So the first thing I'm going to do is have 360 divided by the number, by the angle itself, which is 20. And that will then give me 18. And now the way I've done this is I've written this out and I've just cancelled out a zero. So 36 divided by two gives me 18. So now I know that this particular polygon has 18 sides. So I've got the total, which is 360, divided by the angle. And remember, this is only the exterior angle, and then that gives me 18 sides as my answer there. And likewise, for question number five now, it's telling me that the size of each exterior angle is 18 degrees, and we need to work out how many sides they have. So I'll start off with my total, 360, and divide this by 18. Remember now, I can half this right away by having 180 divided by 9, which then gives me 20. So now I know this polygon has 20 sides. Okay, question six. The size of each interior angle in a regular polygon is 165 degrees. So remember now, they're going for the interior angle, which is 165 degrees. You know that the interior plus the exterior adds up to 180 degrees. So instantly, if the interior is 165, you know here that the exterior is gonna be 15 degrees to give us 180 degrees. But they're asking us how many sides the polygon has. So now we know our exterior angle is 15 degrees here. I'm going to simply get my total value and divide this by my exterior angle. Again, I can see that both numbers are divisible by three. So that will give me 120 over 5, which then gives me 24. So now, now I know that this polygon has 24 sides. So in order to become faster and more efficient within polygons, practice is key here because there are certain rules that you need to follow and keep in mind. And by doing so, you'll become quicker and more efficient. Okay, question number seven. So we've now been given a pentagon, which is an irregular pentagon, and we need to work out the size of angle A, B, C. And that's this angle here. So what's the first thing we need to do? Well, let's go for the angle sum here. 
And what I'm going to simply do is go ahead and write n minus 2 multiplied by 180 degrees. I will then have 5 minus 2 times 180. So that's 3 times 180, which then gives me 540 degrees. So what does that mean? That means that the angles in a pentagon add up to 540 degrees. So what do I need to do? I now need to go ahead and add all of the angles that I have been given. And once I've added them, I will now get 421. The second step will be to simply subtract 421 from 540, which gives me 119. So now I know that angle ABC is 119 degrees. Okay, question number eight. So now in question number eight, it's very much the same here. But this time we've been told that angle C to D to E, which is this angle here, is two times angle B to C to D, which is this one here. So if we say this is X, this has to be 2X. So what have I done here? I have given you, so now I've put this into a variable. And let's go ahead and see what we can do to answer this question. So now I know it's a hexagon. I'm going to get the sum of the angles once more. So we will have 6 minus 2 times 180. So that's 4 times 180, which then goes ahead and gives us 720 degrees. So the total sum of interior angles in a hexagon are 720 degrees. I'll then go ahead and add all of the numbers that I've been given. And that there gives me 519 degrees before taking my third step and subtracting 519 from 720, which then gives me 201. And now I've got 201. I have to add up all of the angles I have. So I have two angles, but by looking at these two angles here, the total of my variables is 3x. So now I have to simply get my 201 and divide this by 3 to get the value of x. And we know that 3 doesn't go into 2, but we know that 3 goes into 26 times, as 3 times 6 is 18. And then we have a 2 remainder, which goes in front of the 1. So 3 times 7 is 21. So we now know that the value of x is 67 degrees. And if we have the value of angle CDE, we know 2x is going to be 134. So now we know CDE is 134 and BCD is 67. And that's our final answer. The size of the angle CDE is 134 degrees. Okay. Question number nine. So again, we've been given a hexagon here and they've told us to work out the size of the angle BAF. So what's the first thing I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and work out the sum of the angles. So we'll have six minus two times 180 degrees. So four times 180 is 720. So that means the total of these interior angles here is 720 degrees. It then states that angle DEF is equal to angle CDE, which is 130 degrees. So let's go for C to D to E, which is 130. And D to E to F, which is also 130 degrees. And the rest of the angles I'm going to put down as X. So now we've gone ahead and done that. Let's subtract both of these angles from 720. And that gives us 460 degrees. And now we've got that, we're going to go ahead and simply divide it by the number of x's that we have. And in this case, we have four. So let's have 460 divided by four, and that's going to give us 115. So now we know the size of angle B to A to F, which is this one here, is 115 degrees. I hope that question was clear. Let's now move into question 10. Once again, like I've said in all of my videos, feel free to pause the video at any moment in time, attempt the question before pressing play where we will then go through the solutions. Okay, question 10. Shape A is a regular triangle and shape B is a regular octagon. Another regular polygon P is shown on the diagram. 
So how many sides does polygon P have? So if we take a look, I'll draw this out for you. These are the sides of polygon P, but we need to get the total sides. We then at the same time have the triangle A here, followed with a regular octagon, which is shape B. So what's the first thing we're going to do here? Well, the first thing we're going to do is work out the interior angle of A. And what do we know about this? Well, we know that it's an equilateral triangle. So we can infer that it's 60 degrees as an angle, and that's your interior. We then need to work out the exterior angle of shape B. So what can we say in order to get the exterior angle? We're going to have 360 divided by eight sides, and that will be 45 degrees. So now we know that the exterior angle is 45 degrees. Now, if that's the case, then in order to work out the interior angle, we must have 180, take away 45, which gives you 135 degrees. And that's now your interior angle. And let's label that as 135. And we can do the same thing. We can bring this here. We can say this one is our 60 degrees. This one is our 135 degrees. And this one here is our 45 degrees. Marvellous. So now we need to work out the interior angle of P. So now, as you can see, I'm forming a circle here. So if I've now got 60 degrees as my triangle and 135 degrees as the interior of shape B, a full circle adds up to 360. So let's subtract 60 and 135 from 360. And that gives us 165. So now we know that the interior angle of shape P is 165. So now we've done that, let's go ahead and calculate the exterior angle of P. So we'll have 180 minus 165 with 15 degrees. And that's the exterior once again. So now they're asking us to work out the number of sides that polygon P has. So we have the exterior here, which is 15. And we know that the total number will be 360. So we can simply have 360 divided by 15. Again, what's common? They both are divisible by three. So we'll divide them by three. And we can get our answer that this now has 24 sides. So again, let's put this in order of what I've done here. Step one, I've gone ahead and I've calculated that the triangle will have a 60 degree interior. I've then gone ahead and calculated the exterior angle, which is 45 degrees and subtracted it from 180, which gave me 135 degrees. I've then put that together and then calculated the interior angle of polygon P before finally using that to calculate the exterior angle of polygon P and then using it to work out the number of sides in this specific polygon. So that's six steps there, which gives us four marks. And that's 24 sides. Amazing work. Let's now dive into question 11 here. So we've been given three regular pentagons that meet at a point and we need to work out the angle marked X. So the first thing we're going to do now is go ahead and work out the exterior and interior angle of the pentagon. So again, we'll have the total number of the angles, which is 360 divided by the sides, which now gives us 72 degrees. So we now know that our exterior is 72 degrees. We then work out the interior here. And again, as you know that the exterior and interior add up to 180, we have 180 take away 72, which gives us 108 degrees. So now we know that's 108 degrees there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate this as a full circle. So if I know one is 108, I'm going to times it by three and then subtract that from 360. So we'll have 108 times by three, which is 324. And then 360 minus 324 gives me 36. So now I know X equals 36 degrees. So there we are. Step one, exterior. Step two, interior. Step three is to work out the value of X. And we are good to go. And that now gives us 36 degrees. Marvellous. 
Okay, I hope you can see the value of these questions and how we've gone ahead and completed them step by step. Right, over to the last final question here. And this is where we've been given a regular pentagon and a square. So now in this particular question, so the lines at CD and DG are both sides of another regular polygon P. But how many sides does the polygon P have? And you must show you're working out. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and calculate the exterior and interior angles of the pentagon. So again, let's go ahead, calculate our interior. Remember what we do here now, we have 360 divided by number of sides. That's now your exterior. And then we have 180 minus 72, which is 108. And that's your interior. So now we've gone ahead and done that. We can label this out. So let's now go ahead and calculate the interior angle of P. So again, if we go ahead and calculate this, we know this is a 90 degree angle. We then know that the interior angle of the pentagon was 108. And now we need to get the third angle here. So in order to do that, let's have 360 minus 90 minus 108, which then goes ahead and gives us 162. So now we have the interior angle of P, which is 162 degrees. We can go ahead and simply subtract that from 180. And that gives us 18. So now we know that our exterior angle is 18 and our interior angle is 162. So now how do we go ahead and work out the number of sides? Well, the only thing we can do is go ahead and divide this by 360 degrees. So let's go ahead and write out 360 divided by 18, which gives us 20. So now we know we have 20 sides in polygon P. Marvellous. And that brings us to the end of our session today. You've done incredibly well, and I'm really proud of your performance. So keep, keep up the great work. And if there are any other comments that you would like to share or any feedback, please don't forget to comment below. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe to our channel where we'll be posting more useful content. Have a great day and I'll see you then.